bless you. God bless you. We're gathering on this Friday just to just to, to agree in prayer. Just a short time. I know that I see that some are joining us. God bless you. Just hold on a little while longer. Soon we will be coming together for real. But we're going to be doing this for a while. For a little while. We're not going to jump the gun. We're going to thank the Lord for enabling us to have this ability to come together even in this way. We're working on even more things that will enable us to connect with one another in ministry. I'm going to officially get started at 6.30, which is a few minutes from now. But in the meantime, how are you doing? God is good, isn't he? He is. get on. My hands just went to this song right here. We just sing this until everyone gets on. strength we're able to do it look 
I know it's the Lord's strength. I know you want to get out there. You want to commune with people. But with all my heart, I believe that we are doing the right thing. And so when we've come to the end of our own strength, then we depend on the strength of the Lord. But with his strength, we can do all things. As a matter of fact, Paul said, you know what? I got to get to the point where all of my strength is expended. In other words, in my weakness. Mm -hmm. When I am weak, then I am strong because I'm weak in myself. But I depend on the strength of the Lord. So praise his holy name. We use all the strength we can. And then when we come to the end of our strength, God's strength kicks in. And he enables us to do that, which we thought we'd never be able to do. You can do it. Be encouraged. Just say to yourself, you know what? This thing is hard. I understand that. But I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Amen. We're going to just pray, pray, God bless you, well welcome, um, I'm Pastor Lamont, uh, Greater Holy Temple, Church of God in Christ, in case you're just joining us and you, you're you not a part of the GHT, that's what we call us, a GHT love family, then uh, welcome, welcome to this time of, of prayer, and we're not going to spend a lot of time I'm going to encourage you that after we finish that you'll continue praying, praying at home and praying with those who are with you. But I uh, but, uh, want to just share something with you. I'm, I'm going to read a scripture and then we're going to begin praying. And the scripture I'm going to go to is in Philippians, the fourth chapter. Just give you that scripture. This is a very, very, very good scripture. Uh, for us at this time. As a matter of fact, it contains that verse that I was just singing. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. And if we trust the Lord, he will give us the strength to do whatever we need to do. Stay, stay uh, sheltered in place, or uh, he will give us the strength, even if we need to go outside for a, a variety of reasons, he will even give us that strength to go out and the courage to go out and do what we need to do and then to come back in. That's what that God just provides us with everything we need to live. Praise his holy name. As we're getting ready to go, go into the word, just a little bit, I'm not going to preach, I just want to read it. And look, this is the time where we need the truth of the Word of God to stand on, the truth of the Word of God to strengthen us and to nourish us, to, to feed our spirits and feed the strength of the Lord in us. Uh, but I, I just, just want to say, just God bless each and every one of you. Uh, thank you so much for even the support that you continue to give to your church and we get support not only from our members but some some who are not members you're going you're sending things in and so we say thank you so much you, for your tithes for your offerings for that extra even some even have shared even their stimulus uh, with us well God bless you because you, you know that we are uh, get, continuing to do ministry and uh, I don't have a, a full report but the last time I checked the lines are over three times as much as we usually do when we give groceries we give groceries every Friday and look if you are in the city or really if you're a member of GHT this is for you come get Food. We will give you everything we have. Unfortunately, when we when we run out, we will run out. But God has been so good and so faithful that he has provided us with things that we can give out. So please don't sit at home and be hungry. We will help you as much as we possibly can do. So, but I want to thank all the all the members and those who are not members for for giving to us because you believe that we receive some monies uh, 
thank you, even corporate money, some a little bit of corporate money, just it all helps us to do ministry. And we're certainly committed to do ministry. We're certainly certainly committed to reaching out. And uh, we're, we're so thankful and grateful to God for that. Well, this is my home studio, my home church. Let me go on now. I won't. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I keep doing. Okay. So, I'm reading in, in Philippians, the fourth chapter. I'm going to start at the fourth verse because I think that this is something that we need to do. It is kind of in line with that bless, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And that's what that's what needs to be our posture. I'm just going to keep blessing the Lord. I'm just going to keep praising the Lord. Even in this time, I will bless the Lord. I will praise the Lord. I still, even in the midst of this, I still have something to be grateful for. I still have something to say thank you, Lord, for. I still have something to rejoice for. So Philippians beginning at the fourth verse fourth chapter, it says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful or full of care for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known Unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. And the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last, uh, last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful or full of care or worried that you didn't have anything to give me, but ye lacked opportunity to bless me. Not that I speak in respect of want. This is Paul speaking to the Philippians. For I have learned in whatsoever state I am. That's something we learn. Something we learn as we trust God. Whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Now I want us to jump all the way back, all the way up rather, to this last verse, which is the 19th verse. And it is very, very relevant, and germane to our situation. And this is the truth of God that we need to know. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. According to his riches in glory or according to the bounty of his of his glory and his riches. In other words, all according as he is just he owns the cattle of a thousand hills, according to all that he has, be, that his wealth is available to me and he will supply all our need. Do you believe that? That's what that's what we have to look. That's where we are. We're believing God, believing the truth of God. Ah. There we go. Come on, let's just begin to pray. Lord, you're worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy to be praised. You are worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy to be praised. 
our hearts, O oh God, to see if there's any way that is not pleasing in you, to see if there's anything that has displeased you in our lives today, O oh God, we stand before you asking you to search us, O oh God, and then we ask you, even as you bring that thing to our mind, O oh God, we ask that you will forgive us, forgive us our transgressions, forgive us when we didn't do exactly what you wanted us to do, O oh God, we want to please you 
in all of our ways. And so forgive us our transgressions, transgressions. Wash even all our sins away, oh God. We stand before you right now. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. You told us that if we would stand before you in honesty and repent of our sins, that you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And so we do, in all honesty, lay our lives before you. For, Lord, we do not want to do anything that is displeasing to you. Thank you, God. Purify our hearts. Wash and cleanse our hands that we can stand before your presence. Oh, God, we thank you right now for forgiving us. We thank you right now for wiping the slate clean. We thank you right now for your mercy. We thank you right now for your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for all the things that you do for us. We thank you for how you have heard our cry and provided for us. We thank you for how you have healed our bodies. We thank you for how you have covered us in this time. We thank you for how you've given us strength in this time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. We give you name praise. We give you God. We give you honor, Lord. We give you glory. Oh, God, you are our God. You are our King, our Master, our everything. And we praise your holy name. You are worthy of our appreciation. You are worthy of our thanks. We do indeed. We thank you, oh God. We know that there are things that have happened in our lives that could not have happened because if you had not been in our lives. God, we thank you for every intervention. We thank you for standing in the middle and standing in between us and, and destruction, standing in between us and sickness, standing in between us and utter ruin. God, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. We come to you right now. You are the God who is our everything. We trust you right now. So we lay our petitions before you because this is the confidence that we have in you. That if we ask anything according to your will, that you hear us. And if we know you hear us, we know that you will indeed give us the petitions that we desire of you. And so we lay our petitions before you right now. Hallelujah. All together. Oh God, with one accord, we who are on this line right now, we're praying right now for healing. Yes, Lord, we're praying for healing. There are some who might have been affected by, by this virus. God, we ask you to heal in Jesus' name. But also all of the other complaints that might be in our bodies. God, we ask you to heal in Jesus' name. Oh, God, we're trusting you as our healer. You heal us from all manner of disease. It's not your glory and your grace is not confined to just one thing. But you heal us from everything. And so we stand before you right now asking you for healing in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Oh God, there are some even that need need a, a, a special intervention, God. Oh God, some who are standing for surgery. But God, we're asking right now that before they have to have that surgery, that you would heal their bodies in Jesus' name. One has requested, oh God, and so we ask in Jesus' name that they won't have to have that surgery, oh God, that you will heal them in Jesus' the name of Jesus. Oh God, whatever is going on in our bodies, God, heal me, heal heal the loved ones, heal heal our saints of God and heal those that they have before you, heal their, their members, their family members. God, heal Lord, heal Lord, heal Lord, heal Lord. We ask you for healing as your sons and daughters, but we're asking you also for healing as, as you show mercy even to those who have given us requests who have asked us to pray for them. And so we pray for them right now that you would heal them, touch them in Jesus' name. Oh God, as I always know, nothing can resist your power. You move by your mighty power. Heal God, heal in a miraculous way. We thank you right now for your healing. Oh God, we who trust you, we trust you for healing. We trust you for wholeness in our bodies. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name. Oh, God, we pray right now for covering. 
pray for covering for the saints of God, that you will cover them even in this time. You are our hiding place. You are our protector. We rest under the shadow of your wings, oh God, and because we do that, you keep us from all hurt, harm, and danger. You keep us from the pestilence, oh God. We ask for your covering right now to keep us from the sickness. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. We believe you for that covering. We believe that you're covering by the blood of Jesus Christ, even that covering that went over the door lentils, hallelujah, and kept the children of Israel from death. Oh God, keep us from sickness, keep us from death. We know that your blood still works. We ask for covering also for those who are out there in the field. We have saints of God who are still ministering and having contact with the rest of, of, of the world and they're giving groceries and they're ministering in various ways. Some of our saints, they have to go into the homes. Yes, God, they have to go into homes and help the sick and help the infirm. God, we're asking for covering from them. In Jesus' name, cover them, Lord. Protect them and keep them from all disease. Oh, God, there are some that have been touched and have been exposed to it. And so they are at home and they are in quarantine right now. So we pray for them. We pray for all of those who have... Have, have been exposed in some kind of way. They haven't experienced any of the symptoms, but God, they're on quarantine right now. Be with them right now. In Jesus' name. Oh God, as they are in they are in quarantine, as they are separated, as they have separated themselves, cover them right now in Jesus' name. Keep them from that disease. We thank you, God. Oh God, we know that if we, we if something happens to us, oh God, that you'll heal us. But we also know that you can keep us from it. Oh God, we thank you right now. Oh God, give us the wisdom in this time to do the things that we must do to stay healthy. Before we call on your name, before we ask you to heal us, before we ask you to protect us, give us the wisdom to do those things that we must do to keep ourselves safe, to keep ourselves healthy. And then after we have done all that we can, then God, we are trusting you to do the rest. We thank you, Lord. You are a healer. You are a deliverer. You are the one who covers us. We rest under the shadow of your wings. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you. We magnify you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know that in this time, in this time that it has put this whole nation in economic distress. And so we pray right now for the economy. We pray first for the economy of the saints of God because they're the ones that trust you. And as your scripture has said already, that you will supply all I need according to your riches and glory. That was the prayer of Paul, and that prayer is covering us right now. Oh God, it's our confidence that we won't have to worry, we won't have to fret, we won't have to be in distress. Because you, oh God, you, oh God, are supplying all of our need according to your riches in glory. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Oh God, you give me water. You lead me to, to those green pastures. Oh God, you lead me to resources. Oh God, I thank you right now because I follow you. I trust you. Thank you, Lord. And we pray for the economy of this country, oh God. Even as we are, are, are enduring this, this uh, shelter in place, God, and it has affected our economy. Oh God, you said that if your people, which are called by, by your name, would humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, you will hear from heaven and you will heal the land. God, we your saints, God, we ask you to heal our land. Heal our land, Lord. Heal our land, Lord. Heal our land, Lord. Heal our land. We're trusting you to heal our land. Heal our economy. Provide for those that are hungry, oh God. Oh God, heal our land. Heal our land, heal our land, heal our land, heal our land. Oh, thank you, God. Oh God, we know that you are a provider. I 
trust is in our faith is in you. You will release the resources. You will release, oh God, those things that we need to live, to survive. Thank you, Lord. We will not worry. For you, our Heavenly Father, knows everything we need. You feed us. You lead us. And we thank you, God, for that. Hallelujah. We praise your holy name. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord. yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There are some who have lost their loved ones. And so we pray for them right now that you will strengthen them. We pray for our member that has lost her father. We pray for our members that have lost their sister. Hallelujah. There are some out there who've lost those who are very close to them. Oh, God, it's so surprising, so sudden. But, oh, God, we pray for them right now. We pray that you will strengthen them. We pray for your peace, oh, God. We pray for your joy, oh, God. We pray for your comfort, oh, God. Comfort them. Oh, God, wrap your arms around them. Let them feel your presence. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Enable them to go through that, which is so difficult, especially at this time. We can't say goodbye the way we want to say goodbye. We can't acknowledge the life of our loved ones the way we want to acknowledge them. But, oh, God, help us to know that everything is all right. Hallelujah. 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 Give us that peace, oh, God. Give us that peace, Lord, that lets us know everything is all right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Peace, 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 Lord. Peace, 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 Lord. Thank you, God. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for your comfort. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Now we pray for the church. We pray for the church of God everywhere. Many leaders have, have gone on to be with the Lord, some as a result of this, some as a result of other things. But we pray right now for the church. God, we pray for those churches that, have, that are now missing pastors. Fill that void. Fill that void in their heart. And fill that vacancy even in their pulpits. Give them that leadership. They need that leadership right now. Cause your leaders to stand up. Oh God, you have always caused your leaders to stand up. Oh God, you have never left your people without leadership. And so we're trusting you right now to provide leadership in Jesus' name. Oh God, that same strength, comfort, peace, joy that we pray. Oh God, we pray for your church. We pray for your church. Oh God, hallelujah. We pray for the church right now that the church will be led by your spirit. That they will know what to do and what to say. That they, oh God, will be able to answer man when, they, when man says, why is this happening? What's going on? Oh God, that we will have answers, not out of our imagination, but that we will have answers that are led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Even in this time, cause men and women to turn to you. Cause them to turn their face to you. Cause them to begin to trust you. Those who have a faith and trust in you, make their strength, make their trust in you stronger, their faith in you stronger. Oh God, bring us closer to you. Bring us closer to you, Lord. Bring us closer to you, Lord. Lord, we want to know you. Let us know you in this time. Lord, we want to know you. 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 We want to get closer to you. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. Let us be closer. Give us understanding of your word. Oh, God, give us a passion for your word. Oh, God, give us a desire for your presence. Hallelujah. That we feel your presence wherever we are sheltered in. We thank you, God, right now. Hallelujah. We thank you for saving. 
Hallelujah. Even as we're in our houses, fill us up. Fill us up with your spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Encourage our hearts in Jesus' name. Strengthen our hearts, oh God. Lift up our bow down heads. Hallelujah, that we not succumb to any kind of anxiety, not succumb to any depression, oh God. But we will rejoice in the Lord always. And again, we will rejoice. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Yes, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We have a reason to rejoice. We have a reason to rejoice. He is our God. He is our King. We have a reason to rejoice. Hallelujah. We rejoice in you, O God. We who put our faith and our trust in you. Now we ask, O God, that you will be with us these next few days. Be with us in our place. We thank you right now for feeling your presence, oh God. We thank you right now for hearing our prayer. We thank you for how you encourage us even right now. We thank you right now for how you unify us in your spirit, how you unify us in your purpose. Oh God, give us patience. Give us perseverance. Help us to endure. Oh God, we can do all things through Christ which strengthens us. We thank you right now for each and every, every saint of God that you are keeping, that you are holding. We thank you for each other as we continue to pray for each other and hold one another up before the Lord. We give you honor and give you glory. We give you praise right now as we believe that you have heard our cry. You have accepted our petitions we have the petitions that we desired of you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Can you just praise him? Come on, let us just praise him together. Everybody's just clapping their hands and praising the Lord. We thank you right now. You are everything. You are a healer. Hallelujah. Our deliverer. Our hallelujah. Our encourager. Our joy giver. Our peace giver. God, you are our everything. My God, my God, you are my everything. And we praise your holy name. We believe you as we pray in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Come on, give him one more praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Well, praise God. You know, it is such a privilege such a, a wonderful, wonderful privilege to go before the Lord. Uh, it is, we did a thing on prayer, and we know that prayer really is our communion with the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's our communion with Him. It's more than just asking God for stuff. That needs to be a book. <laughs> it's prayer, more than asking God for stuff. Yes, because it is our communion with Him. And then when we pray corporately, you know, we are communing even with him as we commune with each other because we're adding our voices to each other's voice. And we're talking to the Lord with one accord. And look, let me tell you, when the saints of God go to his throne with one accord, with one voice, with one request, amen, the Lord responds to that. Amen. So it's good to have corporate prayer. I know you're not hearing your brother's voice. You're not hearing your sister's voice. But by faith, we, we've been in the sanctuary and we know how that sounds. You know, I was remembering the scripture when, when, when uh, David was saying in the 63rd Psalm, he says, to see your power and glory as I've seen it in the sanctuary, that there are things that we've experienced in the sanctuary. And, and right now we're not able to experience those things in the same way, but we have the memory of those. We have remembrance of his power and glory in the sanctuary. We have remembrance of the saints praising God. Amen. And that in, is in our hearts. And so when we lift our hands and when we come even on this platform right here, we can hear the saints of God by faith, wherever they are, 
praising God. Come on, just everybody, just everybody, just hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I heard you in my heart giving God praise. That's what we want to do. Be encouraged, everyone. Be encouraged. We'll continue to do this. Uh, we're going to wait for instructions. Let me tell you, they're working. I hear they're working on things. I'm watching the news. I'm watching all the reports. Uh, and then once they get the release, I'm going to tell you right now, for us, we're going to stay put for a little while. We're going to stay, stay put for a little while and just see. So, so we're going to be doing this for a bit. Just a, just a bit. It, again, this season is going to come to an end. And then when we come back, we're going to come back cautiously. We're not going to be reckless. We're going to do it in a correct way. And we're going to do it with wisdom. And in, when we do this thing in wisdom, once we do come back, then that's going to enable us to safely, in the safety of the sense God has given us, as well as in the safety of his wonderful feathers that he covers us with. And, and we will be able to fellowship with one another once again. So continue to do these things. Find your masks. Find your, your wash your hands, all of those things, cl cleansing, your, all the surfaces that you're uh, wiping. Do all of that stuff, men. And then after we've done everything we can, our faith and our trust is in the Lord. I love you. Let me tell you, some have sent a prayer request, and I, I told our own sister, Sister Minerva, that's our person that kind of is, is my voice out there and she kind of sends things to you but I told her to let you have my telephone number and the best thing you can do really is to text me now if you can't text then call leave a message and so that I can see what's going on and if if I can I'll return the call but definitely or return the text but I want you to understand that whether you're hearing from me or not I am praying for you all the time I am praying for you all the time, wherever your need is, whatever it is, I am praying for you. Even if I don't know the particulars, I'm praying for you. God knows the particulars, and he, I believe, is going to answer my prayer. I pray, we pray, our desire is to pray in the Spirit, so that when I don't know what to pray for, when I don't know the particulars, the Spirit of the Lord knows the particulars, and he prays for me, and the Lord hears. And that's all we got to do, we got to get aligned with his spirit aligned with the Lord. And when we pray according to the will of God and the spirit knows what is the will of God, then we can have this confidence that he will hear our prayer. Amen. Thank the Lord for prayer time. Thank the Lord for you. I want you to know each and every one of you, I miss you. Yes. And I love you. I love you. I love you. Take care. God bless. In Jesus' name, amen.